What is up guys and welcome to another episode of the DJ Diaries. In today's episode we are off to Amsterdam and Paris. A double gig weekend but in the meantime I'm off to the gym. It's currently 6.50. I've got a personal training session with my new coach, Coach Parker, who is a running coach. Any long time viewers will know earlier this year. I did a half marathon and from there I really developed a love for the sport. Is running class the sport? Um, but I did get injured around 10 weeks ago so I had to pull out of this half marathon which was last weekend um, I had to pull out of this high rocks event which I was going to do next month um, but I'm now thinking long term I need to get back fitter and stronger and prevent any injury the thing is from the older videos I started to talk about myself thinking I was going to get injured and I did get injured so yeah I've got a session 7 till 8 with him really focusing on strengthening through the movement patterns um, and I think we will do a bit of treadmill work. I've not run over two kilometers for literally 10 weeks now. Um, so I bought a bike and the Instagram viewers will know I've been out on the bike quite a lot trying to maintain the fitness but it's been a nightmare. But anyway, today we're off to Amsterdam at 11 a.m. I've now got a cameraman who comes with me which is my little brother. So I'm thinking long term here. Uh, hopefully he's going to become a world-class videographer, we've got a sick camera now, we've got a sick lens, so we're investing. Um, he's already shooting clips that are as good as 80% of the people are paid to do clips for in clubs. We just need to get the editing up to scratch, but we'll still be outsourcing the editing for these vlogs until he gets comfortable doing that. But yeah, it should be a good episode, so let's go and do some work. So session done with Coach Parker focusing on building my strength back up for running. Um, a lot of banded work, body weight stuff. I think during my rehab period towards the start, I really skipped all this stuff and I was going straight for weighted stuff. So like weighted RDL, single leg, weighted Bulgarian split squats. And to be honest, I'm actually really strong for the movements. But I'm much weaker in the body weight banded plyometric stuff. So we're really focusing on building all that up. I finished off with a run at the end, just did 3K unbroken on the treadmill. I even cranked it to 16 kilometers an hour for about 500 meters. And I was definitely blowing, but I wasn't like dying. So I can safely say that fitness has still remained from all the biking I've been doing. Um, and yeah, I think we're gonna set some big goals to running. So anyway, back home now, I will have a shower, do a bit of work, have my breakfast around 9 a.m., pack all my shit, and then we'll see you at the airport. So Manchester Airport, we're here. We got stopped through security to then be told that we could go because my toiletries are in a clear bag, but it's not one of those plastic bag things. It's like a one you can buy, which is slightly better quality, but it's got a slight tint to it. Um, and the person's security clearly said it wasn't a legal um, bag. However, the guy that went to check my bag just said, why the fuck did they not let you through? And let me through straight away. We had to wait like 15 minutes, so. Um, now they got to 40 minutes until we take off, it's probably 10 minutes until we fly, well sorry, board. So we're going to quickly go through, uh, maybe get a drink, and then get on the plane, it's only an hour to get to Amsterdam, so, yeah. Two hour delay of the flight, but we made it, currently walking to find our car. So then head to the hotel to probably have a little relax, some food, and then get ready to head out. Um, change of plan, I'm now playing back to with Empire 9 to 1 due to some regulations with the sound. So no problems, only solutions. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for Heineken actually. I think where this car picks us up, I think they give you a Heineken. So maybe I'll have a bit. Amsterdam Heineken, Jake's first ever Heineken from Amsterdam, cheers.
AD debut complete, guys. Last night played for the Watts New Party. You'll have seen from the videos previously in the vlog how much fun we had. Me and M High did a four hour back to back. The venue, which originally was supposed to host the party, fell through last minute. So the guys managed to pull it off against all odds. So, yeah, I really like the setup. There's people all around, and the music was a bit quiet due to the restrictions they had in place, but we made do. A few tequila shots, a few beers, a few hits on the vape, nothing too crazy. I was rough when I woke up, but now I'm okay. Off to smoke a joint, not. Um, so today's plan is an hour of walking round now, see a bit of Amsterdam, get some steps in, and then we're heading to Paris. So two, I think it's two and a half hour train or something like that, which is easy, it's better than going to an airport. And yeah, we tried to get in paradise last night as well, after the event, but we couldn't try to flag Jake's guest list, but it didn't work, unfortunately. Um, so we called it a day instead of trying to go into a party. So we went to bed about three. So I would say hangover right now is like a two out of 10. Although it feels a bit like a creeper that could come to get me later. So yeah, let's go and see some Amsterdam damage. So waiting now for the train to Paris. Did some steps around Amsterdam. The hangover is creeping up on me, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully can sleep some. Managed to get 22 euros worth of supplies. Got two of these for me, which is definitely not Eddie approved. Gone for an Aquarius to replace some of the electrolytes. And then also a banana, although I wanted to buy a cookie or some pancakes, but we're trying to keep it clean on the road. But yeah, 22 euros. It's expensive as fuck getting food and the traveling, etc. The in-between bits when you're on these weekend tours kills the bank account. It will wait a sec anyway. <laughs> yeah. We have arrived in Paris. We are now walking to find the next pickle. It's equally as great and miserable as it was yesterday in Amsterdam. After leaving Amsterdam, it's actually pretty nice weather, but it's a horrible hit. So, plan now is going to be to find the driver and then go and get some food in the hotel and then probably sleep until the gig at Rockham until around midnight. So you sleep, just chill, relax. The weather's too grim to be going out Paris. But tomorrow, I'm playing till 3am tonight so we should have some time to go around Paris for a couple of hours tomorrow. We'll see, Paris is pretty big so it's spread out so it's hard to actually get around and see much. So, backstage, ready to play at La Java. It is quarter to one in the morning. We both managed to get two and a half hours sleep in. So, ready to smash it here. Have some fun. <laughs> Miles taking the city, we are still asleep. I don't actually know anyone that would sleep like him. Well, I love sleep as much as him, but I can't sleep as much as him. You can literally sleep for anything. Um, you could sleep all day if you want it. So Jake, if you're watching this, I wish I could sleep like that. Um, yeah, Jim Marco played after me. First time I've met him, he seemed like a really, really cool guy. It's a shame. We didn't get more time to hang because I had to nap for the gig. Um, and then I decided not to hang around afterwards and he only got there just before I started. So unfortunately we couldn't chat much, but it's another sick guy. He played a couple very nice tunes as well. Um, but yeah, it's almost time to crack back on with the week. And to do Sunday to get some headspace going to next week and continue to keep my butt on the gas. So thanks for watching this one guys. Over and out.